It's Final View. Well, today is Cinco de Mayo. It's a day that most people obviously celebrate, commemorate with maybe some tequila shooters, some guacamole, whatever it might be. But have you ever wondered what Cinco de Mayo is really about, why it is celebrated? Cinco de Mayo actually celebrates the Mexican victory over France at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. Now, Cinco de Mayo is not just a big deal in the Southwest. Really, the biggest Cinco de Mayo celebrations happen in Chicago. Nearly 200,000 people get out and celebrate Cinco de Mayo there. And then in Denver, Mile High, you got 400,000 people getting out and celebrating some Cinco de Mayo. Be sure and join us tomorrow night. Rob Port from SanDiegoBlog.com is back. He'll be joining us. Also, you hear a lot of bad things about the Greek system across the country. Tomorrow, Jacob Lynch from NDSU's Delta Tau Delta Fraternity is going to be talking about barefoot for Bare Feet, an event they're putting on to help raise some money in the area. So some good news about Greekers and Greek life. I want to remind you, Thursday, we have a very special guest in. It is National Day of Prayer, so a special guest to talk about that. And then Friday, we'll have a great roundtable. Some special guests are going to join us, but also reminding you here, the 70th, 70th excuse me, anniversary of what's known as V-Day, May 8th, 1945, was the day that the U.S. and Great Britain declared victory over the Nazi regime. Wow, that was a great front page of the paper there. Now, coming up tonight, 10 out of 10. So much has already been talked about with this film, 50 Shades of Grey, but a lot of controversy because it was being shown on NDSU's campus. We'll have more on that tonight on our 10 o'clock newscast. I'm Chris Berg. Thanks for joining us. And that's tonight's Point of View. This Mother's Day, 